I need air support immediately. Over. 055444 East. Report missile launch. Okay, so they are north of Vodgard. It started with 841. The combined Federated Battle Labs network is a global federated network infrastructure between coalition partners. It provides a safe platform for year-round research, development, trials and assessments. The real benefit of CFBLNet is it allows NATO, CCB and the United States to test the interoperability of our systems. This is particularly important in today's current climate because as we've seen from recent operations, it is very unlikely that one nation is going to be participating in a conflict by themselves. We're currently operating in coalition environments and for us to do that effectively and support the warfighter, it is imperative that our systems are interoperable with each other. We have supported the Afghanistan Mission Network and we've also recently uh, supported the Joint ISI Unified Vision Exercise and the Ballistic Missile Defense Ensemble Test. So we have demonstrated that the infrastructure can support both distributed exercises. The Combined Federated Battle Laboratories Network is, as it says, a federated infrastructure. No country owns it specifically or you know, owns and operates it exclusively. The CCEB, NATO and the U.S. are partners in this and there is nothing, nothing like it within, within or between any of our nations. We have 268 sites in 14 nations and NATO and all of these sites are secure and, and security cross-certified, which is the key aspect of what CFBLNet provides. All of our nation's accreditors have agreed that the implementations of security and protection mechanisms on there support each other's requirements for security to support the initiatives. Regularly, we conduct with uh, several nations of the Alliance uh, what we call ensemble tests. We connect together uh, along five time zones, uh, more than 10 national systems together in a virtual environment where we conduct a simulated ballistic missile defense battle. The CFBLNet provides a very flexible, secure environment which is uh, different from the operational networks. So it enables a clear separation between the operations and the test and uh, training environment. So in terms of uh, flexibility and in terms of safety, these are very valuable characteristics. It's widely shared by uh, many uh, participants to our uh, tests. It is, of course, uh, possible still to extend it to more participants, to more lo locations, to uh, enable more complex and uh, more spread uh, exercises. Well, in UV14, CFBLNet is very important because we are actually connected from here in Erland to several sites again here in Norway, back to The Hague where we have much of our infrastructure for CIS, and then across into the rest of Europe and over into the United States and Canada. So an extensive network that allows us to make that as a secure connection to all of these different sites to do data transmission, data sharing, exploitation, and run this whole environment as if we're running a real, a real exercise in the real world.
CFBLNet has an exceptionally agile and flexible infrastructure. We're able to tailor the infrastructure to provide the service that the customer requires so that their initiatives can be supported and deliver the outcomes that they're looking for. The main benefit of the CFBLNet is that the whole basic accreditation the whole basic network infrastructure that is all being taken care of outside CWIX. All we need to do is say, look, we're going to run CWIX again this year. We want the CWIX enclave to be stood up for uh, two months, and magic happens. They declare themselves, and we have the network environment. Without this capability, it would be very difficult for us to be prepared to support a future mission network construct. To ability to, for us to be able to think about how we could federate all of our mission networks like we are in Afghanistan, but to the next level, providing that greater level of security and separation of information that we, we cannot or should not share, but at the same time making sure that we are responsibly sharing everything that our mission partners need to be successful.